This video is on packet capture and replay. There are many reasons why PCAP is used to monitor networks. Some of the most common include monitoring bandwidth usage, identifying rogue DHCP servers, detecting malware, DNS resolution, and incident response. Also, it can be used to validate IDS IPS alerts and validate things that NetFlow or log knowledge is showing. Full packet capture tools permit security engineers to basically record and reproduce all the traffic on the network. Wireshark is the most commonly used network protocol analyzer in the commercial, governmental, nonprofit, and educational sectors. It's free, open source program that runs natively on Windows, Linux, Mac, BSD, Solaris, and other systems. Wireshark is a packet sniffer and analysis tool. It captures network traffic from Ethernet, Bluetooth, wireless, and frame relay connections, among others, and stores that data for analysis. Wireshark allows you to filter the log before the capture starts or during analysis, so you can narrow down and zero in on what you're looking for in the network trace. It's a great tool for network admins to troubleshoot problems across the network. It's a great tool for security engineers to examine security issues across the network. It's great for QA engineers to verify applications. And it's great for developers to debug protocol implementations. And it's great for network users to learn about a specific protocol. There are numerous tools you can use on PCAP, but mostly used are TCP replay and TCP dump. TCP replay is a tool for editing and replaying network traffic from files that saved with TCP dump or other tools that write PCAP files. TCP dump basically captures packets from command line, displays the packets onto a screen, and writes them into files. TCP replay is used after you have captured the packets. You can quickly look at the information present inside the protocol doggers like Wireshark. You can also reply to this information back onto the network using TCP replay. It allows you to take information and send it back to the network using network interface cards so that other devices on the network can see the network traffic. It's a great way to test security devices. It checks for IPS signatures and firewall rules to see if the information you're sending through the network will be allowed or denied access at the firewall. TCP replay can also send large amount of information across network to test for monitoring tools.